YouTube, what's going on? It's your coach, Mayte for LeanMuscleMethod.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. If it's your first time on this channel, okay, just so you know, this video is actually part four of an eight week end of summer challenge series. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, one, two, and three, I highly recommend that you go and watch that. Basically in those videos, I share lots of tips, advice, techniques that you can use to improve your overall health, well-being, change your body composition, look better, feel better, all that good stuff. So again, if you haven't seen those videos, I'm gonna leave some links in the description below. So make sure to check them out. If you have been following the past three weeks and you've made it this far, congratulations. You've been doing pretty well. And if you feel like you haven't been able to implement all the things that I've said over the past three weeks, I suggest you go back to those videos, watch them again, and really try to focus on, on implementing those things first before you carry on with the next few sets of videos. So you're able to build up certain habits. So you're able to implement those things into your lifestyle so that it doesn't become overwhelming. You, have, you feel like you've got a million things to do that you, quite, you haven't quite mastered. So that's why I recommend that you go and master those few things that I mentioned in the previous videos first before you continue with the rest of the series. Now, in today's video, I'm sure lots of you have been waiting for this. I know I've been banging on about nutrition and I'm saying that 80% of your effort should be placed on nutrition. Now, where did the other 20% go? Well, this is what this video is about. Today, we're talking about resistance training. So what the hell am I talking about when I say resistance training? I'm talking about your, your musculature, your muscles resisting some kind of weight or force repeatedly to get bigger and stronger. You can do this in so many ways. You can go to the gym, you can lift some weights, barbells, dumbbells, you can use machines, um, you can use some bands, or you can even use your own body weight. So when you think about the force of gravity, your body weighs something and you can use that weight again to get bigger to get stronger to build more defined muscles so that's resistance training now the reason i'm making this video is because i know i've been talking a lot about nutrition and i stand by the statement that i really want you to focus on nutrition because that's going to pro produce 80 percent of your results but once you've got that part right then you want to use the, the training as an add-on to complement the nutrition so that you can build a more athletic physique because here's the thing nutrition doesn't build muscles the training does nutrition is all good but if you're looking to build more tone in your muscles to look a bit more athletic then you're going to need to train you're going to need resistance training so that's the first thing the second thing is when you are in a calorie deficit which i've spoken about in the past couple of videos that is you're consuming fewer calories than your body needs to maintain its current weight then what can happen is your body can go to your muscles for energy because it's just looking for any energy stores. So what you want your body to do is to go to the fat stores because that's kind of like the main goal, right? You want to lose some body fat, but you want to keep your muscles, the muscles that you already have and resistance training helps to prevent muscle breakdown. So I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I have to repeat this because this is really important. And that's why you want to incorporate resistance training as well as what you're doing with nutrition so that you can get the best possible outcome because you just basically doing a diet without the resistance training might mean that you will lose muscle in the process and so you you may very well end up looking like a smaller version of what you already are now so you still have like fat maybe in places that you don't want to see fat and you could potentially lose that fat and have nicer muscles if you add the resistance, resistance training to what you're already doing with nutrition so that's the main thing Another great thing about resistance training is that you end up burning more calories per hour than you would have done if you were doing nothing. So let's say that in an hour, I don't know, let's say you burn 250 calories per hour or something like that. If you're doing resistance training in that same hour, you probably burn three or 400. So you're burning more calories in that time. So that means you're increasing your calorie deficit because you're doing some kind of training. And that's the same thing with cardio. So cardio increases your calorie expenditure, you're burning more calories. So you could potentially do both, doing some resistance training and add some cardio as well. So in terms of how often you want to do that, you're looking at at least two to three times a week. Really, three times for me is optimal. So if you can do three times a week, I'm going to say that's brilliant. Something like a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. And that basically separating your training sessions that way is going to allow your body to rest and recover. So you want to make sure that you rest and recover between your training sessions. 
because during the rest and the recovery that's when your muscles are getting bigger and stronger so that's why you want to make sure that you've got some gaps just to recover so monday wednesday friday is a really good way to do it or you could do tuesday thursday saturday or tuesday thursday sunday whatever works for you but again i'm going to recommend that you train three times per week so now we've established that resistance training is really useful if you're trying to change your body composition. You know that you can do this almost anywhere. You can do this in the gym, you can do it in your house, using bands, machines. You know that you need to train three times a week. Now the question is, which exercise do you need to do? So what I suggest you do is work your entire body. You're going to do full body workouts. You're going to work the main kind of like body parts, so your chest, shoulders, your core, your legs, your back. And you're pretty much sorted if you've done all these things you're good to go and you can do arms as well and things and like core right so that's what i'm talking about when i say full body workout what i've decided to do is actually make a video so i've got a 10 minute video coming up literally the same day today okay so i'm going to release it today right after this video it's going to be a 10 minute home workout no equipment needed so you have no excuses you can do this anywhere you can do it at lunchtime at work you can do it in the morning before work you can do it in the evening when you get home from work so that's what's up that's it from me so this task for the week okay task number four for week number four is going to be that you get yourself training and that you either go to the gym or train in your house or do the workout that i'm going to post in a few minutes at least twice this week okay so two times that means 20 minutes of your life is what you've got to do at the very least really my recommendation is that you do 30 minutes three times a week and if you can do that you're gonna get an even better result. But bare minimum, at least to get yourself moving, is that you do my video 10 minutes of your time twice a week. That's what's up, that's my task for the week. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit up the like button. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and I will catch you guys in the next video. Same time next week, peace out.